Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. So, if you are new here, this is probably the third or fourth installment in the series where I am helping my nephew Ian budget his money and he happens to be right here today. So we are going to go over this together. So Ian can say hi. Hello. So we're gonna go over all this together, have calculator ready to go. We have his money from the bank, sticky notes. We have a little sheet of paper that we're going to do just this week's budget on, probably transfer all this into some kind of permanent notebook just to have something that is a companion to the cash envelopes that he has going on here. So Ian, do you want to talk about your funds that you have here and the different things that you're saving toward? Yeah, so um, over the past few months, I've been saving some money up for my paychecks uh, towards you know, apartments. Um, you Apartment. know, I'm putting some of the savings, of course, just in case anything happens. Uh, I do need a new car eventually. Um, car insurance, of course, everyone has to have it. Uh, Christmas gifts and rent. Okay, so that is the entire system that he has in play. He doesn't leave much money in the bank. This is pretty much it for his savings. Now, I think when this gets to be a certain amount, um, he's gonna open up a different bank account where he doesn't pull from his debit card all the time and it'll just be strictly to hang out in the bank and wait for him to use one of these categories. So um, the first one that's probably gonna come up, well, eventually it'll be car insurance. Christmas this year, new car and apartment is probably going to wait until probably 2021, sometime like that. But you know, we'll see, um, play it by ear. Um, in the rent money, this did have some money in it. And I was writing it down on this little um, cash envelope register, but I did finally take this out. And you guys had asked me, what do we do with the money that he gives to us? So instead of putting it back into our uh, regular expense money, we try just to make everything work um, just like we do, you know, everyday grocery shopping and utilities and things like that. And then we put the money that he gives us back into our bank account savings account. So, um, trying to repopulate that from the money that we've used to try and get by so much. So, um, we are going to stuff some of these, not all of these today, uh, and kind of tell you what's going on with his paycheck. So, Ian, I'm going to refer to you or defer to you. Um, and then you can tell me again how much was your original paycheck. So the original paycheck was roughly nine twenty. Okay, so um, that was on May twenty eighth, twenty eighth. No, I think yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Thursday. So Thursday. he gets paid every other Thursday, and um, that is a two week paycheck, and it is his regular um, hourly installments plus a little bit of overtime. So that is what he brought home for two weeks. So we're just gonna put that in the calculator so we can start subtracting some of the expenses and things like that. So first things first, let's go over the basics. So um, he gives us 175, right? And that is for quote unquote rent. And Ian, you know what that gets you. <laughs> gets, yeah. The utilities he uses, the cable, all that kind of stuff. He's kind of shy to be on camera, even though this isn't a face-to-face -face, because he's not uh, hes not a YouTuber. He could be. I, we've talked about it. So um, I think he could and should make his own uh, channel at some point. Um, let's go ahead and organize this. So that's important too. So we will organize it by allocation and value. And then we'll go ahead and pull from it. So there's not a ton left over this time because he left a little bit extra in the bank because he's going to be doing a little bit of shopping this week. So here, let's count how much we have. So in hundreds, we have 200. We'll go back to the 920. Let's count this up first since he was in the envelope, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got 200. And then 200 in 50s. 400 and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, and 40. So it's 140. And then a 5. And then 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
$25.49. That sound right? That sounds right to me. Does it? I feel like we're... Let's count that again. Did we screw up? Done. I think we thought we had more than we did. So 100, 200, 250, 350, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. I don't know. Hmm. Is that how much you got out? I just told him to leave 340 in there. <laughs> I want, I want everything out but 340. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he left 340 and he said, give me the rest. All right, so we're at 549. All right, that gives me acid indigestion <laughs> hearing you say that because I, I would be a little bit more exact. <laughs> but he said, all right, give me it all except 340. All right, so we're at 549. You didn't count those, did you? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so he was at 920. All right, so let's do 920. This is hysterical. Minus 549 is 371. That's right. Because I think you told me that you were leaving like around 370 in there. Yeah. But you said leave everything but what? 340. But I did. <laughs> I had money left over from last paycheck. Oh, okay. So you said take 340 out of my paycheck and give me the rest of the paycheck. Correct. Okay. I thought you meant out of the account. All right. We're on the same page now. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So he has, that's still not right. <laughs> this is not right. All right, so I got paid 920. All right. I had 40 in my account from getting a refund. I was supposed to get something for Sam's birthday. Okay. It never came. So okay, so it was a friend's birthday. Money. So I had 960 in my account, all roughly. Right. And um, I think I may have bought as well but <laughs> oh my gosh okay this is funny this is why you and really i should sit down and do this okay no, no no that's fine all right okay so we've got 549 in cash all right so let's put that over here all right i'm glad we did this video together because <laughs> now i see the method to your madness which there is no method okay all right so we've got 549 so let's do first things first let's take out the 175 for rent what do you think yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So 150, <laughs> 170. Ooh, I don't want your chewed up 20. All right. Hold on. <laughs> 170, 175. All right. Okay. So we have got 175 here, and that is going to me. Right? Correct. All right. So let's just write that down on this post it. And then I will be putting that probably in the bank tomorrow. Okay, so let's put that somewhere. Should we put that in the rent envelope? Yeah. Okay, we could. I'm just going to take it out again. But yeah, just just for video purposes, let's just be mindful and do what we need to do. All right, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> I'm looking at my emails because I get emails when I withdraw and stuff. So when I got paid, I got 963. Some change. 963. And then I withdrew. I said everything but 340. Says 60908. So that's still wrong. Did you stop somewhere and use some of the cash? Oh, did you buy cigarettes? That's what you did. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I so first of all, and canes. Yeah, okay, all right, so things are making more sense. All right, so let's just, whatever. The, the fact of the matter is you have $549 here in cash. Yes. Okay, so what he did was on payday, he got out the money, and then now I remember too, and he took out some of it to get, you got four packs of cigarettes, I think. Four packs. It's gonna supposed to last him the week, but we'll see, because he's supposed to be quitting too, right? Slowly. <laughs> slowly and then he went to raising canes and he got dinner which was however many dollars yeah. okay so that's why we ended up with 549 cash so he took that out of the cash first which is totally fine I mean it's his money um but that's why we're at 549 see your funny math was not working and that really <laughs> I should have just brought up the email <laughs> all right so 
you know what this piece of paper is uh is like null and valid now <laughs> let's just let's just get a different piece of paper all right so what we're gonna do we're not gonna worry about what's in your bank until after this because we're going to talk about what you're doing with the money in your bank because that still matters and he's still gonna be at a zero base budget that is the <clears throat> that's the goal anyway is having a zero base budget so we'll put that in the trash all right, so on May 28th, all right, we're just going to write down um, cash, and I'm not going to worry about what he spent on his cigarettes or raising Cain's um, chicken, so we're going to just put down what he brought home and handed to me in an envelope, which was $549. So how much do you have in your bank account now, approximately? Uh, 340 Okay, so let's write that here. Now, that's something that Ian does even before he knew what a zero-based budget was. He takes himself down pretty much. I don't want to talk for you, but you probably you pretty much take yourself down to less than $5 with your debit card usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. <laughs> All right, so again, that's something else that totally stresses me out. But that's what he does. And um, yeah, when it gets, it, it kind of looks like that right before payday every week. So you know yeah. we get down to the wire yeah i try to spread it out um as much as i can yeah or, yeah i like to treat myself <laughs> he likes to treat himself there's only so much treating we can do right now during quarantine right so we're not like going anywhere we're not having fun um well this is fun this is funny <laughs> all right let's write down 374 um and so what what do you like to do during quarantine you like to play xbox with your friends correct um, so they're online together yeah, sometimes I take the dogs on a walk. Yeah? Um, Can't go to the gym anymore, so you don't have a gym fee right now. That's correct. Um, yeah. Stuff around out. the house? All right, so my phone rang, and now we're back. So um, if there's any split in the video, but we have 374 left to work with. So we're going to talk about what he's doing with the money left over in the bank, and we're going to talk about what we're doing with the remaining 374, right? Okay, so we talked a little bit about this off camera, kind of like what his thoughts were as far as putting money aside. And so let's talk about what's in the bank right now first. Um, you have some expenses that you're gonna be paying for and you're just gonna use your debit card for that, which is fine. Yeah. So let's let's go through one by one, $340, let's do that. Yeah. All right, so what's your first expense? Uh, car insurance will be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Um, and that'll be roughly a hundred is just under a hundred just under a hundred. Okay, so he's saving up He does have a car insurance envelope and he's saving up to actually pay it six months at a time But in the meantime, he's still on the um, monthly installment, which I didn't I guess I realized that but I, I guess We needed to talk that through so he's on the monthly installment. So that's a hundred dollars a month So that's gonna be for car insurance and that's an automatic deduction um, and then, of course, that will probably change once he starts paying it six months at a time. And you'll probably get, actually, a discount yeah. when you do that. So that's nice. Um, so you have two, 240 left. Okay, what, what else are you taking out? Um, 95 for my carton of cigarettes. $95. Okay, so he's trying to quit smoking. And, I mean, he's not allowed to smoke in our house. I mean, I have asthma and stuff like that. And he's totally fine with that. You're, you're pretty respectful. Yeah. Um, but... That's still a lot of cigarettes. That's five packs a week if you do an entire carton. Um, so you're gonna try and cut that back a little bit, right? Yeah. And I've been letting you hold on to them so you can kind Yeah. Of... Well, I don't know how much that helps. He usually gives them to me to hold on to and <laughs> he has to ask for them. Um, but I mean, I don't say no, cause I mean, you're an adult, you know, yeah. so I, you got to slow down though. That, yeah. that, and that's, that actually is so much money because if you think about it, that is 95. Let's just say you buy two cartons a month. Mm -hmm. That's $190. That's actually a nice chunk of a car payment. Yeah. So anyways, everybody has their vices, I guess. Well, I don't know, but anyway, you'll get there. So, okay. So we're down to 145. Um, we have a couple birthdays coming up. That's right. Um, my uncle's mm -hmm. and my grandmother's. Um, and that's my mom and my husband. Correct. Um, so I put 25 aside for my uncle. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give myself a range of roughly $40 for my grandmother. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so we'll do, all right, so we'll do, all right, so that brings us down to $80. What are we doing with $80? Do we know? Um, gas. Oh yeah, gas. That's a big one. So you had said 60, I see that on your paper. Yeah. All right, and gas is really, inexpensive where we live i mean it was even way less expensive when mm -hmm. the quarantine was in full effect um i think it was like a dollar 20 some yeah, it was crazy. crazy um but now it's up to around dollar 89 dollar 99 and if you have fuel perks from giant eagle it's even less like there's all kinds of like you know stuff like that so that leaves you 20 dollars. so what are we gonna do with 20 dollars? 20 dollars is mainly for let's say i forget my lunch at work i can kind of drive up get yeah. something or uh I bought pop at the grocery store yeah um just so so you you can just put that toward like miscellaneous yeah just all right smaller stuff all right so let's do 20 for miscellaneous and that brings us down to what we call a zero based budget and that is the kind of budget everybody needs to have that doesn't mean you need to spend every penny but that means that you need to allocate every dollar toward a purpose. That way you don't overspend or misspend in any one category. So that's not something new for you too. But bringing down to zero base when you're planning for it is not a bad thing. Bringing down to zero when it was an accident can be a little bit scary because yeah. then you can run into fees and things, especially if it's your debit card. So let's go back to the cash that you have on hand. So we took 175 out for the rent, right? Mm -hmm. So, and do you think that's fair? Yeah, that's perfectly. Do you fair. like that price? Yeah, that's okay. Because then, that's a good thing we can talk about with people too, and put that in the video that you're okay with that price. Mm -hmm. So we have two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three ten, three thirty, three fifty, three seventy, three seventy one, two three and four. So we have three hundred seventy four dollars less or left to go in cash. So let's start talking about what you want to put in your envelopes. So this is something we did not go over ahead of time because this is really his choice and he has to kind of, you know, be the one to decide um, priorities and what's important and where he thinks things need to go. So as long as like the basics are covered, then we need to start funding the rest. All right, so we have categories left, apartment, new car, savings, Christmas, and car insurance. So we've got 374 to work with. So what do you think is your biggest priority right now? Probably new car or, yeah, new car. New car, new okay. Car. So let's see what you had in new car before. 1870. So you have 18, um, $1,870. Um, you started out with $1,770. I think this was around the time we started these videos, yeah. or I started these videos for you, and then we added $100 um, at whatever point. It looks like May 14th. So here we are two weeks later. That was your last pay date mm -hmm. before this one. <clears throat> so out of $374, how much would you like to put in your new car category? Um, maybe let's make it even $2,000. Okay, so... <laughs> You're making me do math. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so you're 374. All right, so 2,000. I should I should have been able to do that. What is that, 130? Okay, $130. Okay, so let's write that down here. So we're going to add 130. Um, And some of you may be asking, like, why doesn't he write that out or whatever? Um, I like to... <laughs> and he doesn't so yeah. we're gonna bring that up to a round two thousand dollars so what did we say 130 so 100 oh I'll see let's see what happens <laughs> this is what happens literally when you don't get the right allocations and plan ahead for your cash but we can still do this so let's say 50 70 90, 110, 130. All right, so we were able to make it work, but you guys know how I am and I pre-plan 
my increments and I give the teller a little piece of paper saying how I would like my money back so I can actually put it in my cash envelopes correctly. So let's do a double check here and make sure we have 2000. So we have 100, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, fifty, nine, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two thousand. All right. Now I wanted to mention somebody had made a comment in my previous video because I've been doing cash envelopes and sinking, sinking funds separately just because as you can see by this video here it takes me a while to get through these just because it's so detailed but um they had said do I realize how much extra work this is making and it's really old-fashioned um and I didn't have a chance to answer comments or anything like that but I just wanted to mention that um it is extra work I do agree with that, um, but I don't think it's antiquated in any way. Uh, and the reason for that is because the cash envelope system was created by Dave Ramsey and he is a financial guru. Um, so he came up with that system for people who wanted to work with cash, get away from credit, and even get away from the habit of using a debit card and things like that. Once you have cash in hand, you're less likely to want to let go of it and spend it. Uh, because it's cash and you're looking right at the value in your hand. Um, so he came up with the cash envelope system. It wasn't all that long ago, um, but banks nowadays are even using the cash envelope system uh, electronically. There's certain banks that have that. So I think maybe some people look at cash as being old fashioned. Um, and in some ways it is. I'm not a big fan of going out with a lot of cash to spend, but in this way, it really helps me with my savings and keep things on tr in track and um, I don't know I just like it and I like kind of organizing the whole thing so that's why I do it but I do get everybody's opinion about it you know I could I definitely can see it both ways um, so we have $244 left and these are the categories you have left okay um, Christmas is a bit of his way mm -hmm. so um, I don't think that's pressing right now okay um, well we can put some of the car insurance. Um, okay. We're gonna, you know. Let's see what you have in car insurance right now. Five hundred. Okay. Well, how much? Six months. You said you get a discount. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically. Yeah. Um, let's let's put a hundred in there. Um, I know it will probably be less than six hundred total. Yeah, because I think you're going to get a discount. Um, but uh, it's just a little buffer, I think. Okay, so we're going to take 100? Yeah. All right, so let's count, make sure we have 600 in here now. So that's something we probably, you probably need to do and work out with the car guy or the insurance guy. Yeah. So 100, 200, 300. These are new bills. <laughs> Oops, 400. That was not face, right? Um, 20, 40. 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 6. So that's good. So you have your six months. I think that you're ready to talk to the insurance man mm -hmm. and see what they can do for you. Um, you know, and shop around. I, I think that's really important too is to shop around and see if that you're see if you're getting the best rates or not. You know, it's always good to shop around for car insurances. Um, homeowners insurances. I know it's a pain to make those changes, um, but if you can get a better rate and it can save you money, it's worth the extra work. Yeah. So. Um, and I mean, last year I was with Progressive, mm -hmm. and they upped my premium, and I think I was paying one eighty a month, and now I'm paying just under a hundred. So. I mean, yeah, I that's a big difference. Saved a lot. Yeah. Plus, you don't. You only have liability, right? Because you it's own actually your car. better than what I was getting at Progressive. Okay. It's liability and there's something else. You with have something it. else. Okay. Um, but it's not full coverage. No. Okay. So what year is your car? It's an 05 Subaru Forester. Okay. So 05. Um, it has quite a few miles on it, but it runs pretty good. It does. So he is going to try and get as much out of that car as possible. Um, you know, and we'll see. So I think the longer you can, you know drive the car and the longer you can save up for your new car payment the mm -hmm. better obviously 
Um, so we'll see how it goes. But you have three left, and you have $144. I feel like it's a game show. Where do you want to go next? All right. Um, <laughs> I think 44 into Christmas, and then we can split the 100 between apartment and savings. Okay. So, all right. Let's see if we can do that. So 44 for Christmas, and you are a Christmas shopper. I am. I, you know. Um, you love that. I was able to go pretty big last year. Yeah, he really, really did. He got big gifts, and nobody told him to do it. I mean, he just, and I'm not saying he needs to do that or, you know, it, it's even good when he's trying to be in a position of saving, but mm -hmm. Um, you had been at your job for a little bit, yeah. so let's take 44 out of here. Um, so last year you got me a Jeffree Star palette and you got me makeup brushes. That was incredibly, incredibly generous. Um, what did you get Grandma? You got her something big too. I got Grandma a really nice like gown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like a, like, a, like a robe. Yeah. It was really nice. Um, you know, I got John that, uh, skillet. Yeah, uh, that's right. I got my cousin Chrissy the hiking bag. Oh, that was super, ex that was, that was a lot. That was, was, she was so surprised. Um, but you know, the previous years of Christmas, I wasn't really able to yeah. go all out like that because I wasn't saving anything. And then you got your parents some nice gifts. Did. You, you did good. You did really good. And your sister and brother. Mm -hmm. All right. So we should have in here now $444 for Christmas. That's a really, really nice savings. Mm -hmm. um, if you were saving $50 a month and you wanted $600 at the end of the year, that would only be $50. That would be $250 so far. Yeah. In June, you'd be right at $300. But you're really ahead of the game. Now, we haven't talked about where your, your end game is with this, sure. but... That's something that you need to think about and plan and do your Christmas list moving forward so you can decide how okay. much longer you want to save. So let's make sure we have 444 in here. So we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 440, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so 444. So this is a chatty video, but I hope that it helps. I hope people who are watching um, enjoy it and get something out of it. I don't know. I think that it's uh, really nice to, you know, go over budget um, with somebody too. So, you know, you can kind of talk talk it through. Um, not everybody needs to do that, obviously, but in your case, I think that budgeting is very new for you. You know, you just kind of did whatever and just, you know, spent and, you know, did what you had to do before but i think now you're being more mindful when we have our conversations about it so we're gonna do plus 50 you said you wanted to divide the last bit right yes correct okay so may 28th and i'm writing may 28th even though it's already sunday and it's the 31st because may 28th was his payday so um we had 578 so we're going to add oops 628 And then he's going to be reading your comments and stuff like that. So if you have anything, any words of encouragement or suggestions or feedback and things like that, he will also be reading them and we'll go over those together. Um, and then savings, you wanted to put the last 50. All right. So that was apartment, right? Yeah. And then this is savings. And we do need to do a new notebook for you. Um, oops. Right there, that's okay. So we'll write plus 50. No, are you happy with how everything's gone? How yeah. your budget's going? Yeah, okay, good. I'm not sure that there's anything else you really need to do at this point. Did we put 50 in here? No. Oh my gosh, did you see me do that and you didn't say anything? Well, didn't you? You counted it all, right? Uh -huh. I didn't put 50 in here. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now we did. All right. I think you counted it with the 50. Yeah, I did. I think you I took did. it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I guess it, it does help um, to have somebody doing this with you. So we should have 350 here. So now we have 100, 200, 253, and 350. All right. 
So today is his day off. Usually you work what? How many days a week? Six days a week. Six days a week, right. Um, Saturdays are typically half days, but... Um, kind of long half days, like you're talking six to two, things yeah. like that. Um, and that's all overtime. That's, yeah. that's nice for you. Um, so today, Sunday is his only day off every week. And um, we got takeout with grandma. And um, I wasn't feeling too good, so I did not deliver Grubhub today. Um, but I will be back doing that tomorrow after work. Um, I did pretty good with that, but I will be going over that paycheck with you guys on Wednesday or Thursday. We get paid Thursday for that. So that's it. So now you're at a zero-based budget for your cash and a zero-based budget for your bank account. Mm -hmm. So everything looks really good. A little we had, confusion at, yeah. at first. <laughs> we had a rocky but. start. But yeah, we got there and now things make sense. Well, I guess because we just forgot that you used some cash already and that was silly. I don't know why we didn't think about that. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, we appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Any comments, feedback, anything like that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.